kind of want soup dumplings. One sec. Mm -hmm. Order in. Drop it at the lift gate. Right on time. Let's ride. That video you just watched was produced and scripted by AI for only 20 cents. But if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably already know that. In this video, I'm going to go through a live demo of exactly how I use these prompts to make an ad. And the ad I showed you is just the starting point. We're going to be cleaning it up, fixing all the errors, giving it a better dialogue, and creating a longer ad that could be genuinely used as an Uber Eats ad. I have all these prompts on a Google Doc linked below, and they provide great starting points to create these advertisements. The ad we have is a heavily modified version of the alien walking scenario that you can copy right here, and I'll be also providing the prompts that I use for this exact video and all the process of working through it. And as a bonus, I wanted to share even another prompt that I'll be adding to my list by Olivia, which is this amazing New York billboard ad, and I'll be playing that right now. And the last thing before we get started is I wanted to give a shout out to WAN 2.2, which is available on Replicate's website and APIs. And what's super cool about this model is the videos it produce only cost six cents. So the prices are definitely falling. There's already rumors boiling about VO4 coming out this year. And the only thing that I have to say to that is it super undermines the principles that you need to learn these skills immediately because as soon as the technology gets cheaper and better, it's going to be taking over all forms of media. Now, the only real criticism that I've gotten is that these are not $100,000 ads. And all I have to say for that is this prompt that I asked ChatGPT, what is the average budget of a Super Bowl commercial in terms of production cost? It says a basic minimal production is a million dollars plus and the high end versions are four to five million dollars. If you've ever worked for a major brand before or even some of the smaller ones, you'll know that it costs thousands and thousands of dollars to get anything done, especially when it comes to actors and filming in different locations. And in this video, we're going to be doubling down on VO3 animations because I think they look really good. I also want to announce that I'm finally starting a private community. Currently, nothing is out, but if you want to take advantage of this AI wave when it comes to video content creation, and you're already currently a marketer, an entrepreneur, or a online creator, then I highly recommend you follow my ex, x.com slash mentor, you join my Telegram group linked in the description, or my email newsletter. I'm going to be recruiting people out of those three platforms before I announce anything more about the group. So let me quickly catch you up into speed of how we got here. This is currently the Google Flow editor. We currently have an ultra subscription, which allows us to top up credits. And with those credits, we can generate VO3 fast generations for 20 credits, which is roughly 20 cents. We're just putting our prompts that are generated into the box here with the text to video. We may go frames to video later on, but we haven't done that yet. And then the LLM that we're working with is as simple as ChatGPT's O3 model, which is the reasoning model, meaning it thinks a little bit more through what it's going to be doing. I gave it this prompt right here, basically telling it to take my other prompt and produce it into a new Uber Eats ad. And then I gave it this, which was from my list. Then you can see it thinks for a while, it gives me a new one. And then what we're going to be doing this entire time is we're basically just going to be critiquing the AI and telling it what to do. So right here I said, make the character a cute animated character and make it an interesting marketing hook. Now the AIs are really good at certain things and they're really bad at other things. So sometimes they don't really come up with realistic scripts that make sense or they'll have very nonsensical stuff that's happening. So it gave me this long one, I rendered it. I said the video can only be eight seconds, you know, simplify it. You're gonna have to do that a lot because it's oftentimes going to extrapolate quite a bit. So we had this version right here and then I told it that that was good. And then I said, change the dialogue to something more realistic. In the future, I'm probably going to be giving it more concrete dialogues, but then it created this version right here. And then I asked to rewrite it, it created it again. I said, create an entire new theme. I'm just iterating through every time I'm generating it. And as we move on, I'll be showing you that for sure. Uh, use a script like the previous version with a different food, food item. 
So I'm just giving it more and more critiques until we had this final version, which is the version that you saw at the beginning of the video. That's gonna be the starting point. And now what we're gonna to try to do is clean it up to make it a more multi-scene video. So now that we got the output, I'm gonna be playing it one more time, kind of giving you my criticisms of what I'd like, what I dislike, and then I'm gonna be talking with the LLM and adjusting it accordingly. Kinda want soup dumplings, one sec. Mm -hmm. Order in, drop it at the lift gate. Right on time, let's ride. Okay, so let's pick out some of the stuff I like. I really like how the fox is using this new form of technology in his goggles. I really like the character of the fox. I think it's really good. Uh, I really like the soup dumplings. I think it's an item that people may resonate with. Some of the stuff that I kind of dislike about this video creation is one, you can see when the bag comes out, the soup dumplings just kind of randomly spawn there. That's not too good. This little ETA thing on the goggles looks a little bit unintuitive. I think luckily this um, version, while it's not exactly Uber Eats' UI, looks good enough. And then I think the major problem with this video is that kind of like the food comes instantaneous and that's all because it had to be set in eight seconds. And, and overall, I just think a little bit better scripting of the ad will probably fix a lot of this. And I think we're gonna make it around two to three clips. So it's gonna be around 25 seconds. And I think that will do a lot better job. Okay, so now I've asked it to output the dialogue, and now that we have the dialogue, and we've also saved this prompt right here, I'm going to copy it into another version of ChatGPT, and we're gonna be modifying the dialogue a bit, and then once we have a good dialogue, I'm gonna be asking the other version of ChatGPT to essentially split it up into three separate scenes, and gives kind of some instructions on how the dialogue should be for each scene, and I've never done this specifically before, but I have high hopes. All right, so I wrote out this prompt right here. I basically explained what I want the script to kind of be. I said that I want it to be 20 to 30 seconds. It's gonna be split into three eight second scenes. I kind of outlined all three scenes and then I gave it the original dialogue here and let's see what it comes up with. And once we have this, we can start working on creating the JSON files. Okay, here's the output and I think it's pretty good. At least this part, the summit part, I really like that. Um, my stomach's doing moguls. I mean, I don't know if that makes 100% sense, but we'll just leave that in there. I think this part is good and gonna be pretty easy to generate. So I'm going to copy this and go to the other version and see what we can do. Okay, so now in this new version, I typed up this long script, but basically I told it that we're gonna be making three prompts, that it's gonna need to choose all these characters. They're gonna have to stay consistent. Um, the style is gonna have to stay the same, but we're gonna switch the dialogue. I just typed it something at the very bottom too to make sure that it knows to not use the old dialogue. But basically, here goes nothing. This is either going to be super cool or super annoying to work with. So, because we're on the reasoning model, it's going to take a while to think, which is probably a good thing. Okay, so it created this JSON. It's pretty long, so I am a little bit worried. So let's go over. I rendered it on Flow, and now we're going to watch it. So this is the video right here. I'll be playing this one. Ready to drop? Ugh. Fueled up at lunch. Let's go. Wait, you all ate? I missed lunch. Ready to drop? Okay, so I think it's pretty good, but obviously there's some huge problems. The characters are saying the wrong things. They're supposed to be two friends. I think I'm going to have to simplify this to have just two people instead of three. I'll be playing this one too. There's three people, but it's just this weird kind of guy over here. Ready to drop? Yeah. Fueled up at lunch, let's go. Wait, you all ate? I missed lunch? Yeah. You were waxing your board. Brutal, my stuff ready to drop? So you can see, maybe there's a little bit too much dialogue as well as the characters. So I'm gonna be adjusting this to two people and seeing how well that does. Okay, so I changed the dialogue, made it a little bit more simple. We just have friend one and Fox. I said to remove the other person. Let's see how this does. And hopefully this one is gonna be better. Okay, so we have this new result. We have this new video right, right I'm here. I'm fueled up, ready to drop? Wait, you ate? I missed lunch? Yeah, you were waxing your board. Brutal, my stomach's doing moguls. So it's not really getting the dialogue great, and I think part of the reason behind that is it's just overcomplicating it. So I'm going to ask for a few modifications and then try again. Okay, I definitely cursed myself here and made this a lot more difficult than it probably needs to be. I've actually went through many iterations since my last filming right there. So basically I told it to simplify it 
and I'm just going to be going really quickly. Then I said make it more cartoonish, and then it turns it into cartoon. And then I say 3D animation style, because I wanted that better. Then I asked it some questions on, like, condensing the dialogue to hope that it would understand it a little bit better. And then I said remove the last line. Basically, I'm removing lines because there's not enough time. And one thing the AI does all the time is you, you give it 8 seconds, and it writes a script that really takes, like, 15 seconds. So I switched the dialogue, then I gave it one of my old versions. Uh, this was one that was actually pretty useful. I said, um, give Arlo a male Gen Z voice and Mika a female one, because I think the consistency of that is pretty good. And then, you know, I'm just toying around with it for, honestly, a while. And then I get to some final responses, and we have this one right here. So I'll show you kind of the progression. So most of the problems is just um, mapping out the dialogue to the right people which I think the AI is just getting confused between the two characters. So we had this version right Fueled here. Fueled up, ready to drop? Wait, you ate? I missed lunch? Yeah, you were waxing your board. It's brutal. My so you can see it's just going between the two people. And then here's when it wasn't I'm fueled up, ready to drop? Enough. Wait, you ate? I missed lunch. So this one, like, the dialogue was pretty good there, but you can see, like, we don't want these people looking like actual animals. And then... <laughs> I'm fueled up, ready to drop. This is the cartoon version, which um, honestly did pretty well for a cartoon version, but this is not exactly the style I was looking for. So then we went back to this. I'm fueled up, ready to drop. Still wrong things, lots of weird stuff happening. Anyways, we have these iterations over here, and then we finally um, got to these ones, and I think this is the one that I thought was pretty good. So basically what I had to do is split out the dialogue to only the first half, uh, I'm fueled up and ready to drop. Uh, wait, you ate? I missed lunch. Okay, that wasn't actually the good one. Okay, this is the version that I think is pretty good I'm going to stick with, and now I'm going to be trying to move on to the <laughs> next part of the ad. Uh, I'm fueled up and ready to drop. Wait, you ate? I missed lunch? Okay, now we're getting some progress. So the next step is we need those second two lines. So what I was able to do is tell ChatGPT, we're going to be doing a new part, remove the old dialogue, replace it with this new dialogue, and then replace the zoom in and start everything else. So it came up with this script. Now, I definitely did a lot more generations, as you can see here. The biggest success that I had, though, is I went to frames. So I went and screenshotted a frame near the end of the first clip. And I did the frames to video feature, then I pasted in this new JSON, and then I ran it. And that's where I was to get got a version that really connects well with the first part. So I'll be showing you on Premiere what that looks like. Okay, this is the version, and as you'll see, this little play button I forgot to get rid of. But uh, if I didn't point that out, you probably wouldn't notice it. So now I'm just going to play this, and you'll see it does pretty well for the first 15 seconds of our ad. Ah. Uh. I'm fueled up and ready to drop. Wait, you ate? I missed lunch? You were waxing your board! Brutal. My stomach's doing moguls. I'm not waiting in a lodge line, I've got a faster plan. So, I like it a lot. The voices change a little bit, but, but I think we can ignore that. Okay, the next scene was super simple for me to create. I just gave it this prompt right here, where I basically gave it the new dialogue and the new scenery of what was supposed to happen. We want to keep the character the same with the same voice. We want to get rid of the other character that's not going to be in the scene. And then this dialogue. So pretty straightforward. It created this. And I did tweak like simple words that I saw in here. But no other tweaks than that. Anyways, even though I said simple, I generated it probably like 30 times. Because I wanted it to turn out really well. There are certain versions where the voice was really bad. Or he was snowboarding uphill. Or the UI or the Uber Eats logo wasn't really correct. But in the end, I settled on this one right here. I think it's pretty good and it illustrates Uber Eats. the point. I want soup dumplings. Brothy, steamy. Closest spot, add chili oil and extra ginger. Now that we have that, all we need is the final scene and our ad should be good to go. Okay, and now on to the third scene. We're moving even faster. I just gave it this one prompt right here where I basically said we want the same character. We just want him now getting a paper bag from a drone. And then the one scene of dialogue is piping hot right on time. Uber Eats saves the session. And keep in mind, 
This is the script that we had it build earlier on, and we did not need all this. Like, simplifying is what I learned is makes it a lot easier and a lot better. So I just went with that one line. It created this, and then I generated it in flow, generated, a, I believe, like six renders right here, and then I got the best one that I liked. And overall, I think it's really good. Piping hot, right on time. Uber Eats saves the session. And the only one thing I'm going to say is when I look at it in the video file, the first part with the two characters does not match kind of the animation style of the second half, uh, the second and third part. So I think I'm going to be redoing that first part, even though it took me a painfully long time. Uh, but I want the ad to look a little bit more in sync. Okay, so... I'm pretty proud of this ad, but I'm going to be re-editing that beginning part like I said. The two characters thing took a while, and I recommend you don't do multiple characters, especially with this JSON version. But I'm going to be showing you the end result of the ad now, before I make the modification, so you can see for yourself. Uh, I'm fueled up and ready to drop. Wait, you ate? I missed lunch? You were waxing your board! Brutal. My stomach's doing moguls. I'm not waiting in a lodge line. I've got a faster plan. Goggles, open Uber Eats. I want soup dumplings. Brothy, steamy. Closest spot, add chili oil and extra ginger. Piping hot, right on time. Uber Eats saves the session. Okay, so the next part is I basically, and you can see I even have a typo here, but I did the same thing. The keep Arlo the Fox the same, blah, blah, blah. We're going to be at the top of the mountain again. And then he says, ah, I missed lunch. I'm not waiting in a lodge line. And then we had this version right here. I generated it. And for some reason, when he's on the top of the mountain, he was always kind of taller. So I said, change his proportions a little bit here. Then we had this prompt. And then we generated the final results here. I downloaded it. And now I'll show you the modified version of the final Uber Eats ad. Ah, I missed lunch. I'm not waiting in a lodge line. I've got a faster plan. Goggles, open Uber Eats. I want soup dumplings. Brothy, steamy. Closest spot, add chili oil and extra ginger. Piping hot, right on time. Uber Eats saves the session. You know what? To be brutally honest, I don't know which one I like more, if I like the first one or the second one. So if you want to leave a comment down below and choose which one you want, I hope everyone got a ton of value out of me sharing the process of how I create these ads and stuff like this. I think you could take a lot of the skills that I showed you where you use a frame to transition or you talk to the LLM to maintain the character consistency and all the stuff like that. Anyways, please make sure to follow my ex, x.com slash mentor, especially if you want an invite into that group, as well as my Telegram and email newsletter. Obviously, subscribe, and if you are subscribed, hit that bell. I feel like I'm trying to provide as much value as possible in the AI generation space and really show um, without filter some of the great generations, some of the struggles, and everything in between. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys later.